so I'm moving a couple of uh, fattener pigs they're about six months old now and they're ready to go I have some orders from a, a quite prestigious restaurant in the area that is a hotel and restaurant a la carte and um, they're going to buy half a pig and I also sell to a smokehouse so there's a few orders enough to warrant a couple of pigs going and anything left over will go into my freezer uh, I also have buyers who like my sausages so I can sell a few sausages as well so do keep watching and I'll show you what we do today I'm going to be moving a couple of young female fattener pigs and getting them into this trailer behind me now this is a new purchase to me I've literally picked this up for a bit over scrap value because it's not the best and it's not in the best repair but it is solid and it has a solid steel base on the floor it's a very small livestock trailer um, and just about big enough for a couple of uh, fattener pigs so it's going to be a bit of an issue to get them in there because it's only got half only half this door open so I've tied the door open and I've made quite an elaborate um, pen area around the doorway and I've built a platform with steps so that they can, and with pallets and wood so that they can step up into the trailer. I've filled it full of nice straw for them. So what I have to do is I have to go down to the pen where I've got um, a sow and her piglets and then three, two fattener pigs that are ready now that are going to go today and another four that are a bit smaller and are going to be ready in a month or two. I might be lucky and I might just be able to get the two I want out. So I'll get them all up here into the holding area here at the top of the farm where the stable is here and then I will sort them and release the ones that I don't want and then keep the two that I do want. Then I will manoeuvre the two that I do want into this smaller penned area that I've built and coax them into the trailer with food. This is the plan. So it's worth, when you're moving pigs, to pre-think what you're doing. It's worth making a corralled area in advance and all of this makes a job a lot simpler. I mean, when you've got a nice big livestock trailer, pigs will go into that quite easily. But when it's a smaller area like this, they may need a little bit of encouragement. So getting them confined into a smaller area where they can't really go anywhere and there's food in the trailer will kind of clinch it, really. So, And also, as well, it's all going to be tied in. So they will be able to be secure in this tiny compound. And um, if it takes them a little while... To get the idea to go into the trailer it doesn't matter because they're secured here so that they can there isn't really anywhere for them to go other than in that nice enticing space full of straw and food so it's very likely they will eventually get the idea and go in of their own accord all of this planning in advance is there to help make my life easier because it can be stressful and you can have escapees and if they get stressed out they will run and if you haven't got them contained and there's any gaps where they can get out, they will find a way out. And then you've lost your pigs and then you have to go and retrieve them. And it can all be quite a palaver. Right, once the pigs are loaded, you have to get a tag in their ear. And uh, every, um, every holding in the country has a herd mark of their own. And we have to register any movements of pigs in the country, so um, they have to have a tag before they travel. So you basically, it's a bit like an ear piercing. So I've, uh, so they're in, and their ears are tagged. Success. So here I'm standing in the stable, and you can see from this angle the penned area that I've built here. Um, and I've, again, tied everything in with the trusty baler twine, which means that this 
will they won't be able to sneak through that way. I can open it right out here up to the door. So once I've got my two pigs in to the stable there, I then open this and there get them into this space over here. Again, this, it's secured this side, attached to the trailer with baler twine. Um, and then I will be able to shut the door on them again and they will be contained into this small area.
just want to say a big thank you to everybody who's been watching my videos and following my vlog so far. And this is a new, quite a new channel and I'm just starting out with this vlogging experience. If you like what you see, please press that subscribe button. The more subscribers we get, it really helps the channel grow. Uh, behind me we have a chicken coop that we've recently renovated it's, and my next vlog will be all about that. I've got some birds coming, 10 beautiful um, breeding birds and a cockerel uh, that I've been gifted from another farm and they've got to give their birds up so they wanted to gift them to somebody and I've just been lucky enough to have those. They should be here now but they're not. So the next vlog will all be about the birds, these new birds coming. So please tune in for that. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.